Hi guys, welcome to my channel and thanks for stopping by. Today we are going to be doing a, another video in my minimalist struggles video a series because sometimes simple isn't easy. So today I wanted to talk about a struggle that I have really been noticing in my life lately that has to do with making specific intentional choices about the life that my husband and I want to have and how we would like our future to look and having that not be quite accepted by everybody and really feeling like we're kind of the weird people, the outcasts. And this is something that I've kind of always had to deal with growing up. I've always been kind of a nerd and more of an introvert and never really felt like I fit in with the cool crowd. Um, so, you know, I know part of, part of my struggle is just me. I'm a different kind of a person. I'm not into the normal things. And that's totally okay. And I love the fact that I'm a Star Wars nerd and that I love to read and, you know, create and all these things that are maybe just a little bit not quite as uh, prevalent in my area of the country. But uh, something that I have noticed in having conversations with people is that a lot of times when you make a specific intentional decision, uh, a lifestyle decision, that doesn't fit in the box of the normal societal constraints, people can get really upset and defensive. And American culture definitely has this set, sort of set of things that everyone is supposed to do. And most of the time, people just kind of go with the flow. It's what you do. You graduate from high school. You go to college and take out a bunch of student loans. You graduate from college. You get a normal 9 to 5 job. And you get married. And you buy a house. And you have kids. And you continue going to work, taking care of your kids, filling your house full of stuff. And that's great if those are things that you want as part of your lifestyle. And certainly I don't want to say that any of those things are bad or wrong. Except maybe the de that's a different issue. But um, I think it's really important for people to think more and really make an intentional decision about whether something is right for them and not just do things because we're supposed to do things. You know, I know when I was in high school, there was never even a discussion about doing something other than going directly to a four-year college and getting a degree. That, that was just, it wasn't even an option. I certainly don't regret my college experience going to college, but, you know, I kind of wish that there had been, you know, a more options. And there's definitely a lot of options for people. I don't think everybody needs a four-year degree, and especially not a four-year degree where you're going to come out with $100,000 of debt when you're done. You know, another big thing is, for me personally, is food. Food is a huge thing in American culture and it's become kind of a sore spot in my life which is unfortunate because I love food but everything that we do revolves around food and it's usually unhealthy snacky foods desserts and that just doesn't fit in with the way that I now look at food and nutrition and health so I don't kind of want to get into that topic right now about food but if you are interested in knowing about uh, my approach to food and kind of how minimalism has changed what I eat and how I look at food, let me know because I can definitely do a video on that for you guys. Um, but, you know, because food is such a huge part of our culture, especially at social activities, that makes things a little bit difficult for me because either I end up not going to an event, let's say out to dinner or something, if it's not someplace that has food that fits my current dietary requirements, or you go there and you don't eat and you feel awkward. Or you go there and you do eat and you feel horrible, either guilty because you knew you ate something that wasn't good for you, or bad because your body is just not used to eating that kind of crap anymore. And it's a really not a good set of decisions to have to make. And it can definitely 
you know, make you feel like weird and awkward and you don't want to be a burden to your friends with, um, you know, trying to force your lifestyle on them. But it can be really hard. And I have noticed that a lot of people, when you l tell them about your lifestyle decisions, that they can get really upset and defensive. Even though you're not judging them, you're not telling them that they're a horrible person for making the standard decision, it just, I don't, not quite sure why, but people get really upset and defensive when you kind of leave that standard, what you're supposed to do box. You know, for example, my husband and I do not have any debt, which is awesome, what, what? And, you know, we have the philosophy that no, there's no such thing as good debt. And if you follow Dave Ramsey, he'll tell you the same thing. If you follow the minimalists, they tell you the same thing. You know, the debt is really an anchor that holds you down and it burdens you in your life. And when we tell people that we aren't interested in purchasing things that require us to go into debt, except with the possibility of a very reasonable mortgage. And again, what we think of as a reasonable mortgage is very strange to the average American. But... People get really upset about that and they get defensive and they start talking about credit scores and, you know, if it's for school, that's good because you're getting an education and you're going to get a great job and, you know, and the thing is, is you didn't even say anything about their choices and I think it makes people very uncomfortable when they see people very confidently making different decisions than they have made. Um, I think it makes them question their own decisions and so they kind of get very defensive because they feel like they then have to defend that decision even though they probably didn't actually think about it that much when they made it in the first place. I know for me, I've made plenty of those standard decisions like that. Like I said, going to college, you know, that was just something I did and I was very lucky that I came out with a very small amount of school debt but I had a very difficult time finding a job after... I graduated from college and I had what was supposed to be a safe degree. I had a science degree, you know, that was supposed to be where um, there were lots of jobs. It wasn't like I went into art history or drama or literature or one of those kind of degrees you think that there aren't a lot of job opportunities for. Um, and so I ended up being really lucky that I, you know, making that standard decision. but. Uh, there's a lot of people that aren't and they get out of school and they have difficult times finding jobs, jobs that pay as well as they expected, and they're drowning under the sea of student debt and everything goes on the credit card, which is just more drowning. So, um, I heard a quote recently on a podcast I was listening to. Um, the podcast is by two ladies and they, uh, their podcast is called The Mind Palace, and it's a really great podcast. If you uh, haven't heard of them, you can find them on your favorite podcasting site. Um, but they have been talking, they talk a lot about intentional living and minimalism, and something that they said is that it's not your responsibility to want the life that other people want for you. And uh, that's something that's been really encouraging to me. I actually wrote it out and put it on a post-it note and put it on my computer at work so I can look at it every day. And I know since the beginning of this year and my husband kind of finally starting to get on board with minimalism and we've been talking a lot about making an intentional decision. And so I feel like this whole thing has been kind of um, concentrated because we are, we're talking about what we want our life to look like and being really intentional about the decisions that we're making and, you know, having conversations with other people around us about some of these decisions that we're making. And it's really easy to feel judged and to start to doubt yourself and to feel very frustrated that people that you don't even know very well think that they know what's right for you. Now, certainly, if you have people that are really close to you that want to give you advice that you really trust, definitely listen to their opinions and and listen to what they have to say and consider. I know that's something that I really appreciate about my dad. Um, we have very different uh, life philosophies, but he always has really great um, questions to ask me to get me to think about decisions, and I really appreciate that because it does, 
you know, make me really um, feel sure about my decisions once I've thought through his questions. But, you know, you know, that random coworker at work or an acquaintance that you might know from, you know, different activities that you're involved with, the moms, uh, you know, fellow moms on your kid's soccer team, like those are the people that uh, you just really need to let go of, of feeling any sort of guilt or uncomfort for them not approving of your life choices. So I hope that that was a little bit encouraging to you. Um, you know, another thing that's really helpful is just to get out there on the internet and connect with other like-minded people. I know I, the area that I live in, um, it's not rural by any stretch of the imagination, but it's not like a big urbanized area or a big city and there's a lot of like very traditional kind of rootedness here and so um, as opposed to a, a larger city where you might have a more diversity of, of people and life philosophies. So if that describes you and you're having a difficult time finding other people to connect with, the internet is a great place. I love YouTube and Instagram and um, listening to podcasts and reading blogs and it's just really encouraging to know that there's other people out there that are also making these intentional life decisions that might seem a little bit weird or strange to other people and it's okay you haven't gone crazy so let me know in the comment sections below is this something that you deal with do you have difficulty you know feeling like a little bit weird for making these intentional decisions even though you know that they're the right thing for your life um, or do you have a great community that you belong to? Is it um, a local group that other people might be able to join in your area? Or have, do you have a really great uh, community on the internet that we might be able to check out? Let us know. And until next time.